Hi, and welcome to another episode of Our Tiny Cabin Project. This is Charles. John's behind the camera, and Princess Frostbite is looking to see whatever that peculiar noise was off in the woods. Near, 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 near. Today, I'm going to be talking about my modified hot water system. Stay tuned. Hi, and welcome back. This is Charles with our Tiny Cab Project. Today is the long-awaited hot water system. What I've done is I've taken a Zodi hot water system and integrated it with the $12 12 volt car shower. So, this works completely off our solar grid. I like it because it breaks down and is transportable. And so, because um, we're going to be doing a rainwater system, but I also wanted something that was inexpensive as well as transportable. Uh, there was a time our hot water heater broke at our house, and this saved us. Give you an idea. Now, mind you, this is running off solar. Not bad, people. So you start, you get the water going, you open up the gas, and voila. And then you just let the water recirculate for a moment as it heats it up and you'll be able to take a hot shower wherever you're at. You can gather water out of a bucket from a creek, uh, out of a rain barrel. You can adjust how hot the temperature is. Water's already warm. Whether you're wanting to take a shower or do some dishes off the grid, this is a nice option. The water is already hot. Now, this, typically the Zodi shower comes with a shower head that is comparable to like what comes on the Coleman bag showers. It's just that little red nozzle. I don't particularly care for that. This is much more, will lead to a much more satisfying shower. And there you have it. The 12 volt modified hot water shower system. So. It's a nice option considering the fact that we don't have water access on our property. And um, eventually, I probably will get an eco temp, put it on the side of the cabin, and hook it up to a rain barrel, and then run it to when I have the bathtub installed on the porch. We're going to do an indoor outdoor. Ugh. We're going to do an indoor outdoor bathroom to where. Uh, half the porch will be framed out, and there will be a bathtub that is underneath a bench. You lift up the bench, and uh, we'll be able to fill the bathtub. And until we get the uh, all the plumbing done, we can still take hot showers. This is a nice, affordable option. The Zodi costs about $90, and the shower head kit costs about $12. And as you can see, it all comes apart, fits in a five gallon bucket, you can throw it in your car when you go camping, plug it into your cigarette lighter, go down to the river, fill up a bucket of water, recirculate that water, take a hot shower. This will get up to 95 degrees easily in less than five minutes. And um, I really like this product because in the summertime, after you've been out in the woods for two or three days, those solar showers, man, they just don't cut it. And this works great. Uh, there are several different modified versions of Zodi hot shower systems. They have one that is a pump pressurized one that doesn't require any 12 volt. 
um, power source whatsoever. It's done off of uh, pneumatic pressure. Um, and then they have one where it doesn't have a propane cylinder. It goes off of more a, of a thermosiphon principle to where you put a copper coil on a fire. Well, this is Charles with Our Tiny Cabin Project. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. Catch you later.